When you're buying a city car for around eight to 10,000 pounds, you really do have quite high expectations and rightly so, the car makers today are really being pushed to up their game and that's why winning this award really does matter. The reason we chose to Skoda Cisco once again to win this price point is that it still delivers more for your money than all of its rivals. It does everything really to a very, very high standard. It's quite fun to be behind the wheel in and driving, but it's also quite spacious for your passengers and quite comfortable for them. Well, the Citico is fundamentally the same car as the Volkswagen Up, which means it's really good to drive by the standards of most city cars. The brakes, the gearbox, the clutch, they all have a really positive feel and that makes this really easy car to drive smoothly. And it rides and handles surprisingly well on faster roads. We've actually gone for the 59 brake horsepower, one litre entry level engine. As you might expect, it's better suited to town than it is the motorway, but this is the city car class after all. And the fact that you'll get 55 MPG or slightly more in real world driving is deeply impressive. Despite being a tiny car, the Skoda Citigo is easily more than practical enough for the vast majority of people that are likely to own it. You get plenty of room up front for a pair of six foot plus adults, and there's enough rear leg room to get a couple of smaller adults in the back without too much grumbling either. Then there's the boot. Remembering this is a city car, the boot may not look that big at first glance. However, the Citigo has a clever two level boot floor, meaning that you can remove a bit of floor, put it down a bit lower, and increase your boot space by a significant amount. It's an all-round package that really sets it apart from the opposition, and that's why we've chosen the Cisco for yet another year as our very best car at this price point.